Hey Doomers, it's April 16th, and I know everyone here is extremely privy to climate information, but I'm just going to report it because that's what I feel like I have to do. That's my calling. This is actually from yesterday's report on climate and economy, historic heat waves all over the world, and highest record rainfall in Mumbai in April. Here we see worst April heat wave in Asian history going on in more than a dozen countries in Pakistan, India, Lambang, Thailand, Myanmar, Bangladesh, Central Asia. Also La Laos, China faces a serious task in preventing forest fires this year. Taiwan has to make tough decisions as it faces its worst drought in nearly a century. Maybe it's worse than almost a century, it says. Cutting off farmers from water sources. This is the third year in a row that rice farmers in southern Taiwan have not been allowed to plant their crops. Peru, floods washed away livelihoods, 510,000 people in need of humanitarian aid, growing water food deficit powered by climate change is ramping up conflict in densely populated Central American cities prone to violence according to new research. Several cities in the tropical dry belt are known for high rates of homicide and urban violence, but more than a quarter of the population lack the necessary income to buy food. That is a mess. Central America is not doing great. Um, continuing, disaster declared in 55 Nebraska counties because of drought. DeSantis has declared a state of emergency as cleanup in Fort Lauderdale com goes on. What a mess. Incredible unprecedented heat in Northeast USA up to 96 degrees Fahrenheit in Hartford, Connecticut. Ties the hottest April in records and it's the highest temperature ever recorded in the first half of April in the whole Northeast. It's currently the hottest spot in the U.S. as I am writing this person. Um, just eight days after an ice storm coated the capital, 78-year-old daily heat record was broken Thursday in Ottawa. Mercury hit 70, 26.7 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Drought will cause crop failures in Spain. Spain set for a scorching summer along with the rest of us. Um, floods in Iran, flash droughts are becoming the new normal. Flash, flash droughts can develop into severe droughts within a few weeks. Okay, this is the warming world. Teenager took his own life after losing hope over climate change. A 19-year-old Greenpeace activist took his own life after losing hope. Yeah, man, I feel you. The hope is gone. Uh, he's a film student in North London, was found at this wild park on March 29th. Can't blame him. Just how bad things are? I get it. Climate and economy. These five charts show how much two years of inflation have really cost you. I'm just going to repeat this because it's a nightmare. As of April, pace of inflation has slowed from a year to year from 9.5 to 5%. Meat sauce. That's good news for struggling consumers. Yeah, right. Overall, prices are 13% higher than they were two years ago. All items. You're paying more for nothing, okay? The cost of groceries is up. The only thing that hasn't gone up as much is fresh fruits and vegetables, so there's your, there's your calling card. Car ownership costs level off but remain expensive. Cars are also pretty expensive, except rentals. Rising travel prices... Everything's up, even if you don't leave your home. Cost of electricity, utility, major appliances. Well, actually, major appliances are actually just up only 4% compared to where they were in 2022. However, cable and everything else is um, not doing great. All right? Struggling. The summer of 2021 was the Pacific Northwest's hottest in a millennium. Average summer, te summer temperatures in the region that year were unsurpassed since at least... The year 950. Holy smokes. I'm not going to read all this, but, you know, it was warm. The World Bank nominee, you know, Biden's World Bank nominee, he's a former oil executive or is he CEO of some company, separating climate change and inequality won't work. Yeah, no kidding, huh? You think? I'm not even going to read that. Let's look at air pollution instead. Air pollution in 2022... 2022 average PM 2.5 concentration in select major cities, micrograms per cubic meter. That's micrograms, meter, cubic. Okay, uh, WHO guideline, this is right, right at five. That's what they recommend. Anything past that is wretched. And as you suspected, all these 
blustering cesspits, modern innovations of technology called cities, complex cities are all not great places to live for your health. Even Oslo's a little bit higher, and you, and you would think Oslo's like a, you know, prides itself on being environmentally friendly. I mean, Rome is worse than New York, okay? And Los Angeles, that's how bad. That's nuts, all right? NASA confirms that a cosmic object is so bright that it defies the laws of physics. It's definitely not an optical illusion. So some thing out there is generating like a pulsar light. Something insane. Don't really know much about that. Don't really care. Rich people use so much water that it is threatening global supply. A three-year drought in Cape Town, South Africa, as you suspect, may have been worsened by high-income people filling their swimming pools and irrigating their gardens, and I can assure you going to golf courses. While most people struggle. 2.4 billion people worldwide living in cities could face water shortages in 2050. Uh Say that's 2030, up from 933 million in 2016. That is horrendous. Furthermore, how much less do Americans walk than other countries? In five charts, I'm not going to go through all this, but you can see USA percent of trips, uh, walking trips. Americans move only slightly more than Australians at three to 2.5 percent of commutes. Yeah, we'll get bikes and walk around. Sprawl doesn't explain it all either. All right, I'm not going to go through this. Walking is a lifeline for the poor, but in America, it's also a luxury. And pedestrians die on the U.S. roads by every metric, and it's getting worse. Bang, you're dead. Oops. Not safe places. So we have assholes like this guy, CEO, says he supports climate change. I'm all for climate change. The CEO of use Axel Springer's flagship tabloid bid. Axel Springer, CEO of Matthias Dopfner, is all up for rising temperatures. Sounds like a joke, but we're not kidding. He's for it. We shouldn't fight climate change, but adjust to it. Okay, we'll adjust to having no food and water, you dumb shit. Along another dumb shit here is this bitch, that bitch. Marjorie Taylor Greene says climate change is a scam and that fossil fuels are amazing. This is just reported today. She says she claims it was a scam. And, yeah, calling them natural and amazing. Aww. See, when bitches like this get elected, when they get into power, and these two fuckers, you know that the system is completely broken and no one is in control. Completely effed. I just had to report the, uh, the climate news because, like you guys said, it's already global temperatures, you know, breaking records already. And it's April. Indeed, it's going to be a long, hot summer. And on a side note, I just finished up watching Beef on Netflix. Very entertaining, despite what people may say about David Cho. I enjoy his uh, acting. I know he was pretty far off base with his claims, of, with his uh, story about an African-American woman years ago. Um, massage therapist, I guess. Uh, very off kilter, but uh, entertaining show. And, yeah, I guess I'll hit the road. Just want to check in with you guys. I'll talk to you later. Doom Wizard out.